Welcome to Off-Peak Training's overview of the International Information Systems Security Certification Consortium's Certified Authorization Professional Credential. This webinar will provide you with a brief background behind the CAP, an overview of the exam, and the benefits of this credential. In 2002, the Federal Information Security Management Act was enacted as part of the E-Government Act of 2002. FISMA is the first act of its kind to truly recognize the importance of information systems within the federal sector. FISMA requires that every federal agency develop, document, and implement an agency-wide program to provide information security for their respective information systems. Security authorization processes, formerly known as certification and accreditation, support the mission of FISMA. The National Institute of Standards and Technology was tasked with developing standards and guidelines to support the concept of adequate security measures within the organization. You may have heard of the term FIPS, which stands for Federal Information Processing Standards, or NIST Special Publication 800 Series. This documentation drives the security authorization process and is heavily tested within the CAP exam. The Risk Management Framework documented in NIST 837 Revision 1 is the primary focus of the CAP exam. This framework lays the foundation for building security into an information system and continuously monitoring the security state throughout the system's life cycle. Did you know that the CAP is the fastest growing ISC squared certification? There are many benefits to becoming a CAP. The CAP credential validates your competence and skill while boosting your credibility and marketability. A 2011 ISC Squared Global Information Security Workforce Study reports that members report a 25% average higher salary than non-members. Based on a 2009 survey by Certification Magazine, the average annual salary of a CAP credential holder is $108,470. Along with these benefits, you will find exclusive benefits as an ISC Squared member. So why is the CAP important to your company? The CAP has many benefits to employers. Security authorization, formerly CNA, is a top priority for the government. It provides increased credibility to the organization when working with contractors and the government. CAP credential holders are required to maintain their certification through continued education credits, meaning their skills will stay sharp. The CAP also satisfies the DOD 8570 requirement at the IAM Level 1 and 2. There is a broad spectrum of skills that relate to the CAP credential. The ISC Squared website states that the ideal CAP candidate should possess the following skills. IT security, information assurance, information risk management, system authorization, systems development lifecycle experience, control testing and continuous monitoring, information security policy, technical and or auditing experience, strong familiarity with NIST documentation and OMB mandates, I can't stress enough that you will need a strong familiarity with the understanding of NIST documents to pass the exam. The CAP credential covers seven domains. These domains are as follows. Understanding the security authorization of information systems. Categorize information systems. Establish the security control baseline. Apply security controls. Assess security controls authorize information system, and monitor security controls. These domains are discussed in greater detail within the NIST 837 Revision 1 document. The CAP exam pulls questions from a wide source of documentation. This table outlines some of those documents. However, I suggest downloading the Candidate Information Bulletin for a full listing of applicable documents at www.isc2.org CIB. As you can see from this table,
There are numerous documents you will need to understand, and this list is not all-inclusive. The Off-Peak Training CAP Boot Camp extracts the pertinent information you need from all sources of information into an easy-to-follow study guide. We extract the information you need to know to pass the exam. Students will follow along as the seven CAP domains are explained in detail along with all other supporting documentation. Off-Peak Training is a Washington, D.C. based company with instructors active in our local communities of project management, information technology, and information security. Our goal is to ensure our clients pass the exam the first time by providing the tools needed to learn in a structured environment with interactive and easy to understand lessons at your convenience. My name is Mike Schultz and I am the off-peak training instructor for the CAP course. Over the past seven years, I have participated in the security authorization of dozens of federal information systems. I passed the newly updated CAP exam in January 2011. I look forward to the opportunity to help you pass the CAP exam as well. For additional resources, please visit these links. To find out about additional CAP resources and to sign up for our course, please visit our website at www.offpeaktraining.com. That concludes our introduction to the CAP credential.